Hello traders and welcome to the weekend edition. This video is good through Sunday, June 19th, 2011. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. We're looking at the markets here, looking at the daily S&P. And on the daily S&P, we have what looks to be a big monster symmetrical triangle. So let's talk through this. Let me pull in some more data so you can see this big symmetrical triangle. This goes way back in time. If I take this, bring it back, you can see this swing high. Big symmetrical triangle. And we're at a major support area. Now, this could be very good for the bulls if we bounce, but very bad for the bulls if we break through. This is where everything comes to a head. What will the markets do? do at this moment now let me start off by saying this right out of the gates interactive brokers the broker of choice for myself has come out uh, messing with or or changing the margin requirements on futures because of that that's usually indicative to uh, big volatility moves uh, expected into the future furthermore one of the largest world's largest hedge funds have uh, been putting on uh, a number of option plays, betting on volatility increasing, meaning that, that we're in for some turbulent times to come. Let me talk to you technically on if that were to take place, we would need to see a significant break over a trend line um, first line I'd be watching for is 1257 and then 1250. Be watching those levels quite closely. Now, when it comes to the weekend edition here, or the weekly, the weekly chart, we're very extended, uh, really on the CCI, quite oversold. We're begging for a bounce. We do have a doji after an extended down leg. I'm expecting a pop here. The question is, will 1300 be pierced? Can we get over that? If not, be watching very closely to the 1250 and then after that 1225. If we go lower than those, we're in a lot of trouble regardless of these oscillators showing oversold areas. Now, let's look at the monthly. Here's the monthly on the S&P. The monthly, we just sit in this big uptrend, but the uptrend is pinching together. If you take it out far enough, you can see those two lines converging onto each other. We're in a decisive down move. We have a bearish divergence on the stochastic, and we're heading southbound. We have a lower high, lower low. We're in the middle of the month. We're at a support level at this 1265 area. So that's an area that we're going to be wanting to watch is 1265. After that, we have a, you know, a lot of support here at the 1225. Like I said, on the weekly, if we bust 1225, um, this thing could just start heading southbound and it'd be, you know, we'd be heading down to the 1000 area here on the S&P. Now, let's also take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, we let's bring in a lot of data here on the daily. Big, big triangle, big triangle. You can see this here coming across, kind of a big rising wedge. We, we have a nice pullback. We have, let's see where we're at on Friday. Yeah, Friday we closed lower than the 200-day. Thursday and Friday we were both lower than the 200-day moving average. Found Finding support at 2618 where we have this swing low the next level we're looking at is 2581 and then this big area of support here the question is will we get there and if so will we bounce from here so that's something we're watching and then let's look at the weekly nasdaq huge triangle pullback looking for some sort of reversal pattern, which we don't have yet. It's just a down leg, lower swing, lower highs, lower lows, heading southbound, but we have a lot of support coming at 25.83, so be watching that really closely. I can see us getting as low as 25.31, but if we go lower than 25.31, that could really be a significant problem. So, all right, let's take a look at the monthly on the NASDAQ. And with this, we have this big uptrend, but it's a really a rising wedge on the monthly chart, which spells bad news because the stochastic system is a bearish divergence. All does not look so well. A major sell-off in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is leading the charge to the downside. 
this is acting as a leading indicator of what might be to come in the broad markets as a whole. We stopped right at support level 26.20. Will it hold? Not sure. If we break this support line, we'd be hitting 25.33. That doesn't hold. Will we hold at 2463? If that doesn't hold, we are in serious trouble in the markets. And the Russells right here, daily small caps, big triangle, but in the middle, we're finding support at the 200 day moving average, but we have a bearish pivot. You can see the pitching pattern right there. Big areas of support at 77 or 776 and 773 and the 200 day moving average. Will those hold? If not, you can see a big, big red candle developing here. Or if we do hold, the MACD continues to head north. This could be a pullback and we could start rallying up here, maybe to the 8. 15, 820 area. I could uh, see that. Now, on the weekly chart, we have a nice bull pullback. We're at support with the doji. Everything tells me we should bounce here. However, if we don't, man, that's going to be a free fall down here to the 730 area, and that would be damaging. The question is, would 750 hold? Maybe, maybe not. All right, now when it comes to the monthly chart, it's, it looks just bad. Let me draw a trend line here to there. Big uptrend. We are now in a down lay. We have support here at 769. And next support here would be would be 715, almost 716, and then 687. But if it breaks that trend line, we're in a we're in a lot of trouble. All right. Now, so the long and short of it is this. We are pulled back in the broad markets on the daily and the weekly. We are due for a bounce. The monthly says don't be too bullish out there in the markets because or if you are, know it's going to be probably short term. Why? Because we're in a down leg here on the monthly charts on all major indices. So because of this, do not fight the tide. Remember, all boats in the harbor drop when the tide leaves. So that's what we're dealing with. So if you decide to go bullish, be very protective in your uh, longs that you're holding. Make sure your stop losses are in place. Be sure overnight or on the weekends you do look to hedge yourself or go flat the market. And um, that's it. Now, uh, this next weekend, we will be doing a live mentorship in Vegas. So if you're near Vegas or if you think that you'd like to join us, just send Carolina, like North or South Carolina, at grocktrade.com an email, and she'll talk to you about it. Take care and very safe trading to you.